Welcome back, everybody! Zahar is the one who gets chosen today. No offense, Granny, but we need to save the best for last. We really do need to save the best for last, and that's what we're gonna do. I mean, she's probably not gonna be last, because we'll probably unlock another character later on and be like, What?! Oh no, another character! What do you do?! Zahar the Old General, Zahar Alonzo. Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself. The drunk man is coming. And I completely forgot how I voiced this guy. Do I do I make him sound like mm, yes that? <laughs> nah, probably not like that. I don't know. Mm, no, what the nameless being able to eat without a care in the world? Nah, I don't even know. What the heck am I doing with this guy's voice? I hate characters that are infrequent. Let me just say that. I do not like infrequent characters. I can't I can't figure out how to voice them. How is it carefree? Tomorrow we have to go to the front lines and carry out an investigation. Old man Zahar's mood today is pretty good. Ah, good mood. Oh. What a what a waste. Hey kid, where's my alcohol? Did you just smash it to bits? Stop drinking. You've had a bit too much. Had too much? Is that how you address a general? I'm kind of going, I'm kind of going Alphonse on accident. <laughs> all right, all right, general. Why don't you find some time to rest? Ah, is that so? If that is the case. <sighs> if things continue like this, will tomorrow's battle really be okay? He used to be an outstanding mercenary. It's said that his drinking problems are what got him sent to the Nameless. Drinking got him sent to the Nameless. There's just no good answer. Sleeping here isn't good for his health. Let's move him back to his room. Let me help. Alright, lift him up. Long live Furald! Oh. That scared me. Is he having a dream? Furald was the first country conquered by the Imperials in the First Great War, right? I've heard that Sahar is from Furald. <gasps> he has such a happy face. Is he dreaming about his homeland? Who knows? Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Oh, I don't know. I'll never tell. Not that I know. Anyway, oh my gosh. It is time, everyone, to tell me what to level up next. Because we gotta level up some things next. So then, I have enough experience points for episode 39 now, which was versus armor. And sadly, I do not have enough for episode 40, which was... Accuracy. So, eh. Oh well. We don't have enough. Enough for things. It's not worth it, you know. The order to demolish boost has been learned. Well, that's nice. That is very, very nice indeed. I want to see something. I was actually saying something last last episode, I think. What the heck? What is health be? Oh. Oh, I see. Well, that's weird. I was gonna say I wonder what his health would be in a more ideal class, but apparently this is his most ideal class for health purposes. Well. That's kind of weird. That is kind of a little bit weird, but eh, whatever. Okay, sure. So he gets the most health out of being a scout. Maybe it's the scout veteran bonus that does it for him. I don't know. But anyway, though, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. He can be an armored tech if he really wanted to. But he can't. We're not going to make him one. Longing for Ferald. Do you long for Ferald, everyone? I hope you do, because Ferald is great. We'll begin our recon mission after this break. Why am I here? I'm usually not here until the third cutscene, but I guess this time I decided to show up a little early. Everyone be prepared. If I'm here early, that means we might be starting the mission early. Kerr, you're speaking so loudly, I feel like my head's buzzing and ringing. Is he really that loud? I don't hear a difference from normal. Child, you're noisy too. I'm telling all of you, stop being noisy. He's probably still hung over. Rubbish! How could such a little amount get me drunk? 
Did you not drink right before a mission? Anyway, did you hear? The Southern Region's commander is supposedly Jagger. What? We're gonna be fighting Jagger? But, but, no, no, don't do this to me. Heard that he loves a good fight and will run towards any opportunity to do so. I really hope we don't meet him. Hey, what were you guys just talking about? Who's the commander? Eh, it's Jagger. Jagger? That traitor! What do you mean, traitor? Jagger ought to originally be an Imperial commander. That child's from Ferald. He used to be in the Ferald military. Ferald's already gone, isn't it? This old man knew Jagger when he was still wetting his bed. Were you a neighboring uncle or something? That monster just wants to be the Empire's lab dog. Hey, wait a minute. How do you still have a bottle in your hands? Are you still drinking? If I can't drink, you can watch me die. You can't drink right now. We're about to start the recon mission. Hey, what are you doing? Give it back! No, otherwise you'll keep drinking. This is your punishment. What was that sound? Ah! <laughs> Crying? S sorry I overstepped my bounds, but drinking so much isn't good for your body. Jagger, that monster! Don't change the subject! Why'd he join the Imperials? <laughs> Once you're drunk, you start crying? Are you okay, Zahar? Honestly, before we start reconnaissance, why don't you rest a bit? If you join the Imperials, how can we revive our country? <laughs> I don't know. How, how will you revive your country? Just how exactly do you plan to do that? Let me drink. Longing for Ferald. Clear water. I don't see clear water. Do you see clear water? Recon is really annoying. Right, we came to the strange, unfamiliar places to gather information. Once you've sobered up, you're more serious, huh? Never mind my drinking, I'm always serious. Let's get back to Recon. Why do I still sound drunk? I'm not even drinking anymore. Quiet. Quiet, quiet, quiet! Ah! Hey, don't ignore me! Wait a second. Can't you guys hear it? It's a tank! Tanks? Is a squadron coming? From the north? It's a vehicle division! Division! They started shelling the village! What? Attacking a village? Imperial monsters! Hey, this isn't the time to start drinking. Don't drink anymore! How annoying! If I don't drink, I can't keep my hand from trembling. My head won't be clear either. Stop drinking, hey! Alright, I'm awake now. Hey, Kurt! Kurt, where are you? What do you need, Zahar? The Imperial Vehicle Division has shown up. I know. I've started thinking of a plan. There's no need to think. It's time to charge. What? They're destroying a the village. They're absolutely clueless about our presence. It's time like this that we have to make a preemptive strike. Than us. But we have the element of surprise on our side to grab victory. Well, all those scum attack in the villages know the true honor of being a soldier. Hmm, good idea. We're going to use the Har's plan. Is that alright? Won't you think over it some more? Zahar is experienced in situations like these. We should trust him. A surprise attack's strength lies in its speed. If we wait, we'll lose our advantage. Well said. Let's confront those children and give those Imperial monsters a lesson. Mmm. 
By the way, Kurt, you forgot to say this will be a very difficult mission this time. I'm just saying, you usually say that. Also, gosh dang, it's defeat all enemy units again. Ah. A general's war. Okay, cool. That's cool. No! Heavy tanks! And no ace. Ah, oh well. And we gotta do it in five turns or less, huh? Since it's five turns, that means we probably gotta do four turns for the S rank. Okay, well, let's see what we can do, I suppose. Let's try our best and let's fail the best way we possibly can, right? I suppose that makes sense. No, it's a har. Why would you do this to me? Alright, fine. Kurt, you can go over there. Amy, you can go on C, please. And then last but not least... I don't know. I'm gonna put freaking... I'm gonna put Margit down. How about that? Sounds good to me. We should be good to go already, I think. Because I didn't have the tank on. Also, actually, no, I'm not good to go because I forgot to check equipment. And I remember Margit had an in improper weapon equipped to her. But I forgot to check that and, uh, and change it. No! And then other people might have bad weapons on too. Dang and pearls, I'll show you what it truly really means to be a soldier. Okay, if you say so, we'll see if it really is true. I mean, are we gonna... <sighs> are we gonna run into what's-his-face? I mean, we were talking about him earlier, so I mean, I don't know, is he here or is he not here? That is the real question now. Alright! Go! Do, sir, you got this. You absolutely got this. You can do it. And you will be wonderful and ready, and you can... Well, basically, you can one-shot this guy, so congr... Mm, ah, bitter to the very end, I am. Oh, don't you deny it. Maybe you should be a better born leader, Goose. They're gonna actually lead by example by killing the enemy. Oh, I don't know. I mean, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? I think it would be. Well... Maybe it won't be the worst thing in the world. Maybe not. I think I actually do need to do a thing here. Let's see. I will put... Zahar, I will put you on standby, good sir. And Inka, I will pull you out and open fire immediately. Just get this thing out of the way right now and do it. Defeat all your enemies in front of you. There's probably going to be a lot of enemies dying here, maybe. I get the weird feeling on that one. Let's just say I got a very, very weird feeling. Hmm. See? Exactly. That was the weird feeling I had. I knew it was going to happen. I really didn't know it was going to happen. I, I thought I was going to be able to get them all, but... I mean, really? Okay, fine. If you're going to be stubborn about this, Inka, I mean, fine. Be stubborn all you want. Oh, yeah, that's right. Four for the price of one! Ah, oh my gosh! That guy didn't die. That guy didn't die. Oh, I'm so disappointed. No, I can't get back in because I didn't know where to go. Well, shoot. No, seriously, how did this guy live? I don't get it. I honestly do not get it. But I suppose, oh well. All right, change of plans. I'm going to actually pull out someone else. I'm going to pull out... What's your weapon? 220? 230. You have a little bit more range, huh? And then you have 180. Oh, gosh, you're worse. Gosh dang it, Shin. So my best bet would actually be to use Alphonse because he has more range. All right, heck with that. I'm gonna use Alphonse. Why not? Oh, you're gonna put him over there. That's just gonna make everything worse. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. If I saw this guy, I could have done a thing. Never mind. Now I have to change all my plans. Oh, you didn't even die. Ah. Oh. Why was he not revealed by my tank though? I swear. I wish my tank actually revealed him. I mean, he was kind of right next to it. Well, I guess it wasn't good enough for him, apparently. Uh, no, you know what, heck with it. Going on standby! We gotta go capture some camps, obviously. That's what we gotta do. So that's what we're gonna do. Hmm. 
<laughs> All right, I think I will have to use Riella here, actually. I think that'll make a little more sense. I can cover a lot of ground like this. I knew it! I knew it was too good to be true. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. You know what? If you have to do what you've got to do, don't aim at that guy. What, what gave you? Who gave you permission to aim at that guy? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, got him. Jeez. So someone else is going to obviously have to go after that one in the grass. Oh well. When you got to go after people in the grass, you better take someone else. Because sometimes your plans might be ruined and it's going to suck. And I almost stepped on that mine, but that was close. But I didn't do it and that's good. So that's great. Wonderful. I can't even go far enough and that sucks. Alright, fine. Since you can't go far enough, let's do this. Let's do this. Actually, wait. Do you have a grenade still? Okay, I have not used a grenade yet. That's good to know. I actually wasn't 100% sure if I did or not. Okay. Can I, can I throw far enough? No, I cannot. I can, oh my gosh, that's not going to help me. Do you think that'll help me? I don't think it will. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I killed him anyway, so there you go. Take that. Ha, ha, ha. The freaking scouts never failed to... Amaze me in failure. And that's what he just did. He failed. He failed big time. Okay, there looks like there is nothing hiding in that grass, so therefore you can go right over there. Just stand on it. Just stand on it. That's all I ask. You got two. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. I'm thinking I'm uh, misunderstanding what I'm trying to do here. Maybe I should pull someone else out. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Okay, here's my plan. I'm going to... Oh my gosh, I don't have a plan. What a plan, everyone. I'm so sorry. I'm just kidding. I actually don't have a plan. But I do have an idea nonetheless. And I'll do it. I will do it. Let's see. Zahar, you can come on out, please. Wait a second, what am I doing? I literally just wasted the perfect opportunity to go ahead and open fire in this area. The perfect opportunity to do a thing, and then I didn't do it. But then, uh, well, that's okay, I suppose. That is okay. I ruined it, but I didn't ruin it that bad. Or did I? I don't know what to do. I mean, I gotta go a long ways to get to that flag. Actually, there's two flags I gotta get to over here. Ah, whatever. Big deal. You can do it, Zahar. I mean, what's that guy gonna do? He's not gonna do anything. So, you should be... Well, I mean, there could be someone over there. I don't know. I'm worried about things. I'm very worried about things. I could've opened fire, but I didn't think about it. Okay, there's a gunner. Probably need to worry about the gunner. Now, don't I? Hey, Kurt, go on standby. Just please do. Please do that, and then go kill the gunner, because the gunner needs to die, obviously. Excuse me. Just excuse me. Really, Kurt? Immediately quibbling? I mean, did you really need to do it that quickly? You're like, wow, I'm here, I'm quibbling, ugh. He likes doing that. He really likes it. Drops his defenses and everything. But then his defenses get raised, because he's in a base. Alright, hang on, I'm just gonna put it right there. I'm gonna play it safe. End the current phase, yes please. I did forget to look at the turn count for how many turns I need to do this. I'm assuming it's four. But I do need to still look at it, so eh, I don't know. Okay, okay, good job, Zahar. Good job. I am proud of your progress today. Oh gosh, and then the heavy tank absolutely annihilates you. Good job, good job. Ooh, okay, okay, rip Zahar. Well, that sucks. And there's another enemy over there. And then another enemy gets spawned right there. Well, that does mean more opportunity for open firing, I suppose. Can't complain about that. What are you gonna do? Oh, dang it, you're gonna run over there. Gosh dang it. So there's still more I have to do. What a bummer. What a gosh dang bummer. Okay, here is the plan. I really wish I had gotten Inca 
back into the base, but I could not do that, so oh well, it is what it is. Let's do this. We're gonna open fire. Uh, excuse me. I actually don't think I'm gonna be able to kill this thing in one hit, so... Maybe it would be in my best... Well, actually, come to think of it. I could have Julio shoot at it because he's got a more powerful Lancer for taking out armored units. And then maybe I could pull Inca out after that. I better not regret what I'm doing right now. I better not regret what I'm doing right now. No siree. Good job, Julia. All right, that'll at least... That will at least injure it a bit, which could be helpful. Open fire, gosh dang it. Mm. Bring it on. Bring it on, the tank will live, but it will be severely hurt, probably. It'd be nice if it actually killed the tank, but I don't think it's going to. I'd be very surprised. Hmm. Oh, you're kidding me. I can't do all of them? No. No, 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 no. You... What? What is this blasphemy? It's clearly right there. Okay, I mean... I mean, if I could... Uh, this is too far. You've gone too far this time! Or have you? Oh! Oh! Oh, four! You know what? I will take four. I wanted five, but I will accept four given the circumstances. I swear Inka's leg was just inside the wall right there. Am I imagining things? Perhaps I am. Once again, a shock trooper barely takes any damage. What is the meaning of this? I mean, honestly, what is the meaning of this? Okay. Okay, let's see. We're gonna want to... I think Deke could actually take this out. I'm gonna do that. Deke, can you take this guy out? I would like you to do that. I think it would be cool if you did that. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, that's right. You didn't see that one coming. Boom! Screen kind of started flashing a little bit for me right there. That's weird. It is definitely a little bit weird. Okay, disarm it, please. Thank you very much. You did very good today. Ka-ching. Oh, it's been taken care of. Oh, no. Hmm. You. The problem is, I don't know if I can kill this guy. I don't think I can. I'm not really sure at all if I can kill this guy, to be honest. I really don't know. Well, <laughs> let me just say right now, I am worried. I'm very, very worried, and I don't want to waste my opportunity here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Uh... Ada, I'm going to get you out. I think you need to come here and do, do a thing right now. So please do. Please do a thing. Okay, you gotta get a headshot, huh? Don't let me down now! Ah, you didn't let me down! Hooray! Okay, uh... I guess I'll just leave you here for now, just in case. So here we go, then. We're gonna go ahead and have you capture this deet! Because we need you to do that, please! I suppose I could uh, go towards that grass and see if there's an enemy over there. If I need to throw a grenade. Do I? I don't know, but I'm gonna go. Gosh, I really, that is, really is an extended throw. Alright, I'll throw a grenade right there just in case. I knew it. I knew it. You thought you could hide from me, did you? Well, guess what? You were freaking wrong. You can't hide from me that easy. Alright. Let's see, area... Ugh, I still have to deal with this area, though. That's actually what I'm worried about now, because I was going to... I was going to mess around in this area and get Riella out of here, but now I'm realizing... Oh, wait. Where does this lead to? Three. That's Kurt's area. You know what? Okay, it's fine. We'll put her on standby. Kurt should be able to capture that back himself. He's at full health. He's behind a sandbag. There should not be any threat. Wait. Yeah, okay. I, for, a second, for some reason, I thought I put current standby in accident. I'm like, wait a second. I didn't just do that, did I? No, I did not. Good. That's fine. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's do this. 
Bring it on. We're going to go get that drunk dude off the ground because he just had to be like, I'm, I'm drunk. I don't care, man. Mm. All right, prepare yourself. Six shots. It's not good enough. But I need... I need less. Is it possible I can get from the side? Oh, gosh. Am I about to run out of grass? I feel like I'm about to run out of grass. Yeah, I'm about to run out of grass. Gosh dang it. Okay. Fine. I'll shoot from here. I will shoot from here and hope I get him. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got him. One shot. Needed every single one. Good stuff, Riel. Good stuff. Now rescue this dude. Just please. When the drunk people need the rescuing, they really need the rescuing. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I suppose I will just go ahead and stand right here then. I will just wait for the enemy to come to me. In my current phase, yes please. I still forgot to look at the turn counter. I still forgot to do that. Still hoping that it's gonna be A-OK. -okay. okay. Okay. Weird. That was a little weird. I didn't think he was gonna run all the way over. No, no, don't summon reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived! No! Oh, he ran all the way over there? All in one go. Well, okay. Alrighty then, alright, okay. Let's see, objectives. Let's see, yep, four turns. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Well, Kurt, I guess you're gonna have to go ahead and do everything yourself now. Occupy the enemy base. And let's go ahead and do a thing. Let's take charge of the situation. What do we got awaiting us? We got a lot of enemies here, I can see. Not necessarily comfortable with that situation. Oh man, I'm super composed. I am 100% super composed indeed. Hmm. You know what? You know what? I say take this. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Two kills! Two kills is always a huge deal here. New potential kamikaze. What does that do? Let's see. That does... Raises firing accuracy and evasive skills when HP falls below half. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, then. If you say so, Kurt. If you say so. Well, wait. I'm not crouched, am I? In which case, that might not be a good idea here. So let me just go ahead and finish a scout off then. Please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's always the scouts that scare me the most. And it's always them. But thankfully, they didn't do it. Okay. You're good to go. You're good to go, Kurt. Good job. Now I say get behind the sandbag, please, and defend your honor. Just defend your honor now, please. After all, you have to restore your name, don't forget. That, that hasn't changed. Nothing about that has changed yet. Okay, maybe another... Oh my gosh, I don't know! Imka, where are you at? Do I have you on the field right now? I don't think I do. Okay, since I don't think I have you on the field right now, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to think about it. I do need that one back, don't I? I don't know. Let's see, Inca, let's go open fire mode, shall we? I think we should be able to get at least a couple... A couple kills out of this, I would like to hope. At the very least, one kill, but, I mean, hopefully two. That's what I'm looking for here. And if even better, I maybe I can get three. But I'm getting the feeling that's not gonna happen. Well, shoot. I don't know, I might, yeah, okay, okay, two is still possible, but I can't get the one on the left. Alright, that's fine, doesn't matter. Yeah? No. No, wait, what? Oh no, I got him, okay, I did get him, I was like, whoa, no, no, no. You did not just survive the onslaught. You are not allowed to survive such amazing things. If you were, then I would let you, but I can't. 
It's not possible. You shouldn't be able to do that kind of stuff. Ah, dang it. I didn't want you to see me. It's actually kind of funny. I, I kind of forgot about this a little bit. I just, I just thought of it just now. But someone did tell me that apparently certain classes, like scouts, and I think they said gunners as well, apparently they have, like, better peripheral vision. So they won't... These kind of classes will see you from the side a little bit easier and start shooting at you. While other classes won't really see you from the side as easily, and therefore it's like, oh, well, you know, I don't see you, so therefore I'm not going to shoot you. So it's a little easier to sneak up on certain classes while scouts and I believe, like I said, it was gunners that was said. Those are apparently really hard classes to sneak up on. And I believe it. I 100% believe it. Riella, let's do this. I don't understand this guy. He literally just ran over here and then was like, uh, oh, whoa, oh my gosh, there's a person here. I didn't know that. Also, that, that first shot looked like that went way outside the circle. That honestly looked like it was way outside. I don't get it. That was weird. The camp was occupied. Congratulations on occupying the camp. You've done it. The camp being occupied once and for all. There are three people here. There's literally three people here. Oh my gosh, Kurt, what are you going to do? What do you do, man? What can you do? Hmm. I'm thinking... I am thinking I'm going to put you on standby, Amy. And I would like you to actually go kill the scout. I think literally anything else could basically kill this guy. Anything as a shot trooper. But... What I want to do is I want to... Oh, man. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I believe in this. I believe in this shot. Oh, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Well. You didn't even get a hit on this guy? I thought you at least get a hit. All right, fine. If you don't want to get a hit on... Well, wait. No, don't stand by yet. Not yet. Don't regret. Because you never know when you might... Oh, my gosh. There's another one. So we're not going to run into that guy then, it looks like. Because it looks like this entire area is basically just normal enemies and... Eh, oh well. I thought we'd have something special here. If only I had another open fire, maybe I'd be able to finish them all off right now. Let's see... Uh... Well, I can't really say that I trust this thing here. Okay, wait, no. That's, that's a bad idea. That's also a bad idea. I'm going to do this. I'm going to pull out Margit. Because I need to get her some more experience points. So that way she can also be a scout veteran at some point. We need more scout veterans. We need more scout elites. We need more people like Riella. We need, we need useful people here. Oh, come on. Your peripheral vision's stupid. It really is. Well, at least you didn't dodge. All right, good. That guy is probably the most threatening out of everyone that's here, so... The fact that we got rid of him at least is a good thing. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Now he's not going to capture any bases, and we should probably win, right? We have all the flags. I think these two areas are completely desolate. And I think these are the only two enemies left. Kurt killed the first one. What about you, second one? Oh, look at you. Look at you go. Oh, you didn't die? What? Amy's got a lot of power. She's got a lot of power. 67. And you're trying to tell me she could not kill that guy. Wow. I'm a little surprised. I wanted to, I wanted to end this on the enemy phase, but no. One of those rare... Oh, enemy phase victories here. Not today, not today. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see who gets some experience today. You know what? Again, Amy, I think I'm going to have to give this one to you. It has been... We don't... We have not gotten you to your gunner veteran class yet. I think the... Yeah, the only bonus class we've gotten is sniper veteran so far. So we need gunner veteran. Where, where's gunner veteran at, huh? Hmm? I need some of that now. You gotta give me that. If you like about it, I couldn't fail. 
I already forgot how I voiced him. Oh no. How could I do that? Oh man, it's over 10,000. That's good. It's always good. 12,024. Nope, no leveling up. No leveling up at all. What a bummer. What a shame. What a shame indeed. The fight is over. Even though a victory is still a victory. This is a loss. Monsters. We couldn't save the villagers. It's just what Zaha said. If we waited any longer, there would have been more sacrifices. Imperial monsters, what do these villagers do wrong? Zahar, I keep telling you not to drink so much. Silence, child! I've seen this tragic scene countless times. Soldiers are killing each other. There's nothing that can be done. But is that really the case? How many civilians have gotten to crossfire and suffer and die? Zahar. Do you know what happened to my homeland, Fern Furald? Our land was trampled and every person who fought over the motherland was executed. That is how the Imperials do things. Golly absolutely cannot lose this war. It can become a second for all. Zahar, you fight to protect that ideal. My apologies. Please let me drink. Today's tragedy isn't something I can handle. Kurt, Zahar is drinking the tears of the dead. Can we call it that? I'll let you handle it. I just prepared the report for the battle. Jagger, you monster! This is all your fault! Do you really think allying with the Imperials will help revive our country? The love for our land, mountain, rivers, the memory of our comrades, ancestors, children, that is what makes our country. Allying with the Imperials, what kind of heart does that make? Territory doesn't make a country. The people make the country. That's what I believe too. Zahar, I'll drink with you tonight. Me too. Oh man, that's that's ridiculous. Or is it? Ah, oh, I thought that was gonna be the end. <gasps> Jagger, you are our country's glory. He fell asleep. Don't bother him. Anyway, have you guys heard about this? Ferald's greatest general. He knew of Roddy Jagger's abilities and let him take his place so he could disappear. What does that mean? Did he really know Jagger as a child? The Kingdom of Ferald's soldiers, except for General Jaeger, all of them were executed. This is a fact. Then that means if Jaeger was a soldier of Ferald, then that means he wouldn't have had a life ahead of him? Who, who would have thought this drunken uncle was actually a general? Ah, that's right, I'm a general! You're awake! Were you really a general? That's right, I'm the drinking general. When it comes to drinking, not even Jagger can match me. This guy is hopeless. Ha <laughs> ha, I won't lose to that child Jagger when it comes to reviving our country either. Is that so? Zahar's true potential is awakened. The homeland thought's potential awakens Zahar. Which means he's still worthless because he still has the drunkard potential. Which means... Use him with severe caution. Oh, man. Well, anywho, that sucks. That sucks that he still has such an awful potential, but... Oh, well, I mean... Whatever. If he has it, he has it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I suppose it doesn't really matter now, does it? Let's return to base camp, shall we? So that way we can level up. We can level up to... Uh, 
I already did armor and I didn't cross it off for some weird reason. And excuse me, but now I can level up the accuracy too. So let's do that. Oh yeah, let's do this. Oh, accuracy's level 15 now. Oh no! That's nice, we got area aim. Did it do! So let's see, Zahar, what's your new potential? Accuracy and evasion are increased when defending a base area. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Anywho. That's the thing about potentials, though. Don't they only go off if you actually move the unit? So, I mean, this isn't going to be like an always active potential when, you know, when defending a base. It's just only if you actually are defending a base while moving Zahar. So, I mean, that's kind of pointless. I was really hoping this would get overwritten, but nope. He still has it, which means I still got to be careful. And that means I might, I probably should get rid of the bronze bullet from him and give it to someone else like Cedric, maybe. Cedric, Annika, Leela, Felix, I don't know. Just give it to one of them. I think they deserve the bronze bullet a little bit more. Because at least we know they'll put it to good use. Unlike Zahar, who might just not use it at all because he's drunk. And that's good to be drunk. I'm just kidding. It's not. Don't do... <sighs> don't do it, everyone. Just don't do it. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Originally from Ferald, after his defeat in the first year open war, he became a mercenary and joined the Gallian militia. His drunken conduct put him in nameless. It's kind of weird. Why would that end up happening anyway? He claims he was a general in the Ferald army and passed his title to the Jagger after he retired. His tale may be false, but his heart for Ferald is true. That's neat. I wonder something I didn't realize before until... Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, just... Not even, like, a day ago. Well, a day ago as of this recording. What is today? It is 5.35 in the morning, March 27th, Tuesday. Less than 24 hours ago, I ended up discovering that on the bottom left corner of their portraits are the numbers of everyone. So, the, he's number 7, 13, 1, 6, 32... I mean, that's the thing, too. You don't really know what number he is, because he kind of has his number covered up on his uniform. Well, actually, same with Gooser. It doesn't look like he has his available, either. I mean, some of them do have it visible, but others don't. 21, 11, 56, 45, 15. I find that weird that she has the same number as her age. I wonder if that was intentional or not. 23, 24, 3... I should not know that she was number three. I feel like I've never, like, heard her number set at all. 12, 57, 58, 25, 33, 46, 16, 100? Wait a second. Wait a second. Was... Wait, why was he... Was he actually in the nameless? I wonder now. I don't know. Anyone else have any numbers? No, no, no. But the fact that Rodriguez has a freaking number must mean that he's actually a member of the Nameless. That's interesting. Hmm. Never knew that. So after Valkyria Chronicles 3 was over, he came to the Land Seal Academy and became the drill instructor for Avon, Zeri, Cosette, and, and everyone else. He was no longer Nameless. He actually got amnesty. Good for him. Good for him. Nice to know that some people actually earned it eventually. Well, yeah, that or the nameless just ceased to exist because it was stupid. So that's a possibility too, I suppose. Anyway, everyone, I have to go now because we're done with the mission, obviously. And on the next exciting episode, we're going to be going with the, the final mission. The best for last, the old lady. Gloria herself. Oh, man. This is going to be great. Oh, you young whippersnappers have no idea what you're going in for. I'm going to say all sorts of crazy things that are going to make you shake your head. And you'll be in stitches, just you wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to have to steal the spotlight from you, Kratos. I hope you don't mind. 
No, you're not stealing the spotlight from me. Well, that's too bad. I'm gonna steal the spotlight from you anyway. Everyone, you'll see my mission tomorrow. I'll see you later. So will Kratos. He'll be here. He'll be probably a little bit hurt by me stealing his spotlight. But that's gonna be what it is. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone.